I'm going to show you guys my setup for my Dazzle. So we got the 360 right here. Going up to my really, really, really old TV. Yeah, look at that. It doesn't even have channels. Just those. Um. So, uh, we got this. Um, we got the AVs just going straight into the TV. And then we have um, the video is going into a uh, splitter, one male, two female, one's going to the Dazzle, and one's going to the TV, and the only thing that's plugged into the Dazzle is uh, video. And then we just plug the audio straight in to the TV, and because, so this is a really cheap version, right? So it doesn't do audio, well, um, that's what's, what they say. So I have a video out that converts to a headphone jack, which is kind of nice. Um, so that's how I get my audio. And, yeah, uh, on my friend's computer, he doesn't even, his audio just goes into his Dazzle, too. So you need two more of these things. Um, for that, but for mine, I just have to do one of those little measures, and then that's what goes into the computer, and that's it. Okay, so you're gonna need um, just one program, really, uh, virtual dub. So this is assuming you have all your Dazzle, um, what are they called, drivers and stuff installed. So we're gonna open up virtual dub. Um, what you're going to do is go into Capture AVI, and here you can see it's already up. Uh, you got to go Device, and then you're going to click on your Dazzle. It should be there. I don't know what to tell you if it's not. Um, uh, video Source, Video Composite, unless you have it plugged into the S-Video, of course, and you just switch to S-Video. Um, audio, for me, I have to do the microphone, but you may be able to select your dazzle you may not i'm i really don't know um make sure that's checked um if you don't see anything click preview or overlay i don't think that really matters um levels you want to set them to what i have i don't think it really matters that much but that is just what looks good for call of duty call of duty um so yeah what you got to do is go set capture file you, here you can see all my clips. I just do Modern Warfare and then keep going up from that. So you just type in whatever you want and then you press OK. Um, first you want to go to, before you start recording, you want to go to your compression. Uh, I downloaded this Kodak pack, which is really nice, and usually this is what I use. Um, the compression, it's really tricky. You kind of just got to mess around with it. I found that this works pretty well. The bitrate is what really matters. You want probably about 2000. And I'm doing MP4, MPEG4. And yeah. And then audio compression doesn't matter too much. I'm using lame MP3, uh, just 16 kilobytes per second. So um, once you want to start, you just go capture. Um, first, you might want to test capture so it'll show you how how big your file size is going to be and it'll show you how much room it's going to take up that sort of stuff and it'll show you like the quality and how fast it's going to go if it's laggy or anything so once you do want to capture you just do capture video and then you just let it go and capture yeah and then once you're done stop capture um you don't have to close out if you want to record another clip you just set the capture file and change it to something else or if you don't want to keep the clip you just start the capture again and it'll overwrite the because see it says file already exists so if I press capture again it'll just write over that file so that's normally what we do Ryan and I until we uh, get a clip or video we like and then I'll show you guys uh, how we edit and stuff so let's just Mm, we'll go into this one. So here we got our clips. Um, what I do is, see, I click this, and it goes for the next, um, it like fast forwards until the me next scene change, which is pretty much just a drastic change in light to, the, to it. 
So I forward la 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 until I get find a clip I like. So you'll see it, normally it stops when you scope in and out, which is kind of nice. Um, let's say yeah, that's a fun clip. I get like three kills there. Um, so you click this, which starts like the area you want to record, and then you go forward. And I get Harrier and all that stuff. And then I die. So we'll do that. And then the c compression should still be the same from last time, but we'll check. Oh, it's not compressed. Mm. Um, Lots of time, you may just want to not compress it when you're getting your actual clip, because then it will just, like, it's compressing a compressed file, so it's, that could be bad, and it could really butcher the quality so then you just click save as AVI and you save it as whatever the clip is see you. um so kill and then it'll just render it out and that's pretty much how you do it that's how you get um what I think is the best quality possible really on a dazzle um, of course, if you get the more expensive one, like this one we got was only 50 bucks, but uh, there was the like $90 one, which I'm sure is a little better quality, but I think if you don't have much money and you want to record stuff, it's a good investment, you know? So yeah, I'll see you guys later.